God created man in his own image. Don't lose this. That God created you in the image of him, Elohim. And therefore, by all standard, you qualify to be called gods, as the Bible says so. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it, have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Say, I am blessed. Now, that word blessed is very strong. Now, in scripture, when we pick the word blessed, from Numbers chapter 6 and verses 23 onwards, God tells Aaron the priest a order in which he should bless his people. God has bestowed what is called grace or blessing in men. And he has commissioned men that are in priesthood to transfer that blessing into people. He has mandated every head of priesthood to confer blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. So if the Lord blesses you, you begin to see when he says, the Lord bless you, I want you to remove your mind from the concept that this is material thing. This is not material. This is a spiritual blessing. When he says, then God bless them, it means God took himself and placed himself in them. When God blesses you, he takes himself and places himself in you. He takes his glory, all that he is and all that he has, and he puts it in you. Hallelujah. And Colossians 1.19 tells you what he did when he gave Jesus himself. He says this in Colossians 1.19, For it pleased the Father that in him, Jesus, all fullness should dwell. And this glory has an aspect of what is called his power and his authority. So when he says, in him fullness may dwell, he's also saying, I am taking my glory, I am taking who I am, what I have, and I place it in Jesus. Then Jesus one day says, henceforth, I give you power and authority. You can't have dominion if you are not blessed. Praise the Lord. Yes, Lord.